a billionaire kicked off the first private spacewalk Thursday, teaming up with SpaceX on the daring endeavor hundreds of miles above Earth. Tech entrepreneur Jared Isaacman and his crew waited until their capsule was depressurized before popping open the hatch. Isaacman was to be the first one out, aiming to join a small elite group of spacewalkers who until now had included only professional astronauts from a dozen countries. All four on board donned SpaceX's new spacewalking suits to protect themselves from the harsh vacuum. They launched on Tuesday from Florida, rocketing farther from Earth than anyone since NASA's moonwalkers. The orbit was reduced by half to 458 miles for the spacewalk. Dragon SpaceX vent complete. EV-1 return to seat. And EV-1 copy, transitioning back under the display. So again, one of the reasons we had Jared do that was to... Dragon SpaceX, Rex, copy test matrix and as you can three. See, top of the mobility aid. And uh, let's get a quick crew off check. EV1 good. 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 I'm good. Copy that. Okay, uh, max reach, whether it's left or right hand, seems to be about the same. Top of the mobility aid. Yeah, and then the mid rotation. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Copy that. Okay, that's good. 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 In Central African Republic, a mineral-rich but impoverished country that has been in conflict since 2013, the US and Russia are vying for influence. In recent years, Russia has emerged as the security partner of choice for a growing number of governments in Africa, displacing traditional allies such as France and the US Moscow aggressively expanded its military cooperation by using mercenaries like Wagner who have operated in at least half a dozen countries since around 2017. Widely accused of human rights abuses, they're tasked with protecting African leaders and in some cases helping fight rebels and extremists. After Russian mercenary leader Yevgeny Prigozhin launched a rebellion against his country's top military leaders, officials from Central African Republic sought the help of private U.S. security firm Bancroft Global Development. Washington-based Bancroft is a non-profit working in nine countries, five of them in Africa. Bancroft's presence has not been without its criticisms. Rights groups say a lack of transparency about the firm's operations has fostered an atmosphere of distrust in a country already rampant with armed actors. This year, anti-American protests erupted outside the U.S. Embassy in Bangui and local youths formed the committee to investigate U.S. activities to monitor Bancroft's movements. Tresser Adum, a pro-Russian activist working for the Ministry of Youth, told the AP as he took photos with a statue of Russian soldiers in Bangui, the goal of this committee is to control what Bancroft does in. Some statements were released, and we think that Bancroft didn't respect the required procedures. That's why we decided to put in place this committee, in order to control its actions. The tensions in Central African Republic are a window into a larger battle playing out across the continent between Moscow and Washington. Central African Republic was one of the first places Russian mercenaries entered. Many in the country credit Wagner with fighting back rebels who tried to take over Bangui in 2021. Russia is refurbishing a military base some 50 miles from Bangui. Alexander Baikantov, Russia's ambassador to Central African Republic, said the base will improve the country's security. Fidely Gwanjika, advisor to President Faustin Archange to Adera, said the base aims to have 10,000 fighters by 2030 to engage with more African nations. We need the help of all countries in the world in search of peace and justice in order to have the people of the Central African Republic live in peace and develop as other nations around the world, he said from his home in Bangui. In Central African Republic, it's still unclear how much sway the Russian state has with the mercenaries, who are beloved by many and embedded in society, brewing beer and visiting markets. Still, they largely keep to themselves, walking through streets with faces covered and driving in unmarked cars. For many, Prigozhin was a national hero. At the Monument of Russian Soldiers in Bangui, 
people lay flowers at its feet paying respects, a year after his death. For most people here, there's little interest in squabbles among foreign nations. There are problems between the Americans and Russians, but that doesn't matter to us, said Jean Lewis yet, who works at Bongi's market. All we want is security. L'objectif de ce comité, c'est de contrôler ce que, ce que font les banques offres en RCA. Parce que nous, euh, il y a des communiqués qui, qui, qui ont été publiés. Et donc nous pensons que Bancorp n'a pas respecté les procédures normales pour, la, pour euh, rentrer en rubrique sud-africaine. Voilà pourquoi nous avons dit nous allons mettre en place ce comité pour contrôler ces actions. Déjà, on a 12 000 soldats des Nations Unies euh, qui sont chez nous, hein, donc l'abondance de biens ne nuit pas. Nous avons besoin euh, du concours de tous les pays du monde et pris de paix et de justice pour que le peuple centrafricain vive dans la quiétude, dans la paix et se développe aussi comme d'autres États au monde. Il y a un problème euh, entre les Américains ou les Russes là-bas. Nous, les, les, ici, là, ça ne nous intéresse pas tellement parce que nous, ce que nous voulons, c'est le développement de, de notre pays. Donc, on veut que si les Américains viennent pour nous sécuriser, pour sécuriser le pays et pour faire développer aussi le pays, ça nous intéresse. Nous, ce qu'on veut, c'est la, la, la sécurité.